Welcome to Digital Chats. I am sitting with the founder, the owner, the CEO of Digital Universe. And today we are going to be discussing the seven secrets of getting your business online. Welcome. Okay. So, Dad, so what is the first secret of actually getting your business online? I think the, the very important one here that we tend to miss is what we call the brand site or your brand page. This is where you live as your brand and there usually you would explain clearly what you are about, the products and service offerings that you have and you'd have a lot of drop downs you know that gives you your home page and connections all links to various other pages and so on and so forth. It is very much once it's developed this uh, tend to be quite static okay. doesn't change as much as what the others would be but it's important a brand site talks all about you online. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So that's it. That's so very key. And you basically to create like all these little icons on the website, which just makes it easier for people. Yeah. To, no. No. You will generally to navigate. see to navigate. Uh, your brand site usually has a lot of navigation. You would usually see uh, an about page, a home page. Um, you know, sometimes clicking through to a blog page and to various other parts and contacts and so forth and services drop downs mm -hmm. and then sometimes that would be included as part of the brand page which gives an overview of um, your brand uh, which has the service offerings and 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 your values etc and so forth okay so that's step one uh, let me know what what's happening in step two well step two um you know a lot of people haven't focused on this much but this is a, a, a case of marketing bringing it right to the internet and it's called funnels you know, uh, when you have to acquire a customer or having to make a sale, it takes time and you have to engage with your customer, you have to drive awareness, you have to educate because people don't just buy from you when you go to them and you want to sell. Mm -hmm. So uh, a sales funnel is rather important to have and which I believe is very clearly uh, something which you need to have when you go online. So you take your customers through that whole process of the funnel, right at the top, you're gathering them in. Like driving, a funnel, guys. Like, like a, a funnel, funnel, like a funnel. You're driving the awareness, you know, and using all the marketing stuff to, to really drive into a point where they convert, mm -hmm. which means um, they click through to want to purchase. And then at the end of the funnel, uh, you make the sale. And, and, and with that, you have up sales, down sales, bumps, sales, etc. So, and, and that is where you would really promote uh, products and service offerings very specifically. Okay, step number three. Well, now this is rather important. Besides the sales funnel, you'd also have very much um, when you are selling uh, physical and um, and or uh, digital products, you need to have an uh, e-commerce uh, store or site or a shop or a store, an online store, that's what they call it. Mm -hmm. And that's where you display your products and people can purchase it. And then when they purchase it, they would go through to a payment gateway where they enter their credit card details and payment is made and everything is processed and the customer gets a thank you page. Yeah, you get a notification thereof. Besides the thank you page, you also get an invoice, etc. So that, that all puts it together in what we would call an e-commerce site or aka online store, etc. and so, so on. So basically like creates a catalog from the catalog, you yes, choose what it is you want exactly. and then you go to like your PayPal, what, and you put in your yes, details. PayPal is one of them. There are check many out. payment uh, gateways. It, it's a checkout check out form, that's what they mm -hmm. call it. Um, but also importantly, it's not just physical products. Also, uh, a lot of people are selling uh, digital products, which is um, uh, documents, mm -hmm. uh, games, even pieces of software, uh, and so on and so forth. And there's no real distribution cost there because it just gets delivered to the customer via the internet automatically. So if you really want to make business, get into digital products. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's available then and there. Then and when there, it comes to digital there's products. no real, there's no really distribution cost. Digital yeah. products are the way to go. But then again, we do need those physical products yeah, out there. Okay, step number four. What's step number four? Number four is rather an important one, and uh, a lot of people tend to miss this. And uh, you know, you get bloggers, and some people love writing. Uh, but some smaller companies or companies in general sometimes, um, and more on the smaller ones, are not putting some time and effort into blogging. And blogging is important in that you are driving awareness, maybe a bit of fun, and maybe a bit of entertainment with your brand or your products and service, whatever you have to offer. But guess what? Blogs is so important where it drives SEO, you know, search engine optimization, mm -hmm. which all has to do about searching uh, via Google, etc., and then getting ranked better. And uh, 
blogs is key in educating uh, your current and future customers and uh, that's how you also grow your following so it's rather important so the blog basically just um helps when it comes to your customer loyalty they actually get to know you as a brand more the, exactly and then engagement they, they, they start to engage with you yes and that's where loyalty is built and also that's where trust is built in fact that's where the relationship is built and we must not forget we buy from people and when people want to buy from you they need to know you and that is so key when it comes to blogging as well as the other social media platforms where you need to have the engagement, the awareness, a bit of entertainment, a bit of fun, and really be authentic when you're online. Okay, then we have step number five. I, I would almost say it, it's a part of the secret in itself, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Um, it's one of those things that you need to have. Once you have your customer and your mail uh, list, which you've built over time, uh, you actually don't have to do paid advertising and all of this stuff where mm -hmm. you're really spending a lot of money for each and every click. You, you have your, the, the mail list and you mail and, uh, to your customers directly. And for that, you would need to have uh, um, specific mail uh, responder software or mail integration with your pages uh, where you can then sequence the customers in terms of the various mails and offerings that you have in a way such to finally get them uh, to make a purchase. Uh, so it's rather important also through your, your mail um, platform also drive awareness and education and influencing mm -hmm. and all of those lovely stuff you know when it comes to engagement etc so you can help with say for instance somebody has a brand and they want to have that mailing list and do yes. all of those type of things to yes. promote themselves more yes and the discounts and the sales that they have and exactly you can, you can help people yeah i can that. help i mean uh, that's why i said one of my key things is if, if if you can't do it we help you to do it um but also guess what uh, you will see in the link in bio, there's an opportunity for free access where you can do it yourself and the software is available to you. Where you can do a lot of these um, so-called secrets or steps uh, yourself. Uh, and which saves a lot of money. And the, the current platform is quite integrated and, and, and the savings is immense. So yeah, so that would be the mail integration and sequencing and integration into your various pages rather rather important for for a business okay so now we move on to step number six well the sixth aspect and it, it all depends if your business lends itself to that because uh, every business has has what we call um, institutional knowledge uh, capability um, and and with that it also provides an opportunity for you as a business uh, to provide this knowledge via whether it be a course or via a training video or a training document etc and you can provide it what we call via membership site uh, where people can then log in uh, those loyal customers of you you give it to them either as a freebie or as a paid service and uh, you provide them with a training on your products and services uh, and also a way of means of additional revenue or another way to 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 have more customer stickiness and really membership sites is amazing you know whether it be in the uh, makeup industry or the hair and how to do hair or bodybuilding or you name it even in the fitness training etc uh, even authors um, uh, or those who write papers and documents it is a fantastic way to generate more revenue but for businesses my take is rather important have that membership site so that people can have access to all the training material and the knowledge that you can offer them as part of educating, driving awareness, uh, engagement, loyalty, trust, and authenticity. Okay, and then your last but not least, step number seven. Yeah, that, that is a very, very important part. Now, once you put all of this up, uh, how do you get people to get to your website? And that's what we would call, uh, as, 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 as online marketers, uh, traffic. And traffic can be, um, you know, uh, offline, not offline really, but... Uh, almost off page and on page, you want to call it like that. Uh, and, and part of traffic generation has to do, you get a form of where we have paid ads. So you must have heard about Facebook ads and Instagram ads and various uh, platforms on social media where you can drive the ads such that it drives to the website mm -hmm. and, and people to the website. Um, that is for paid ads. Okay? So would you, with, when you say step number seven is traffic, do you then help people uh, when it comes to ads and how to do it. Yes, I can. Uh, yes, uh, we can provide that assistance or they could do it themselves or we will give them guidance in, in that respect. You know, uh, paid ads, that is one aspect of traffic, but you also get what we call organic, which means you basically uh, do your engagement, uh, you drive your awareness, uh, you use your hashtags, um, um, you, you add uh, 
other followers in your caption, etc. And that further drives the traffic to where you want it to be. Um, that's via the social platform, but also in an organic way. So you're posting continuously, you're doing a reel, you're doing a story, um, you know, you're doing a tweet, um, you're posting something on LinkedIn, so that's, and, and people would see with all the hashtags and the links that you're putting there. So it all comes together, what we'd call almost an, an organic growth yeah. per se. But you know, if you want to go off in another aspect of traffic driving is, um, you know, you can do a press release, mm -hmm. um, you can do native advertising, uh, and there's many, 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 many other forms. I mean, the old school sort of handing out of pam pamphlets, uh, dropping uh, your pamphlets or business cards at various places is another way of getting the traffic to your site. So traffic in itself is quite a big subject uh, and a way of getting uh, new customers and even growing your existing customers. So basically like getting yes. reach. Yeah, getting reach. Um, content. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and in that way, uh, future customers, um, for those who are interested, will engage with you and then you have to grow and you have to nurture them until to a point where you get them to the bottom of the funnel, mm -hmm. where you get them to convert because they're loving your product and your service offering. They're trusting you, they're loyal to you, they see that you're authentic, you're real and they would make the acquisition or the purchase. Mm -hmm. And that is where the traffic usually start at the top of the funnel um, from all the various sources of traffic, you know, um, the, your online uh, traffic sources and what I would call offline or, or, or off page if you want to call it that uh, the old style newspaper mm -hmm. uh, radio uh, another big thing that is coming through in terms of traffic generation really big time is podcast really really big uh, in driving traffic to your site or where you want uh, your followers or future followers to go so you can get them through the funnel drive the awareness and finally get conversion and then um, uh, uh, a purchase uh, being done yeah so basically guys there's many ways you can drive people to your website social media platforms and so on those were the seven steps if you guys want to know a lot more please make sure you follow digital universe on all the social media platforms yeah i think that's rather important and uh i will be releasing a, a little ebook uh on these seven secrets of getting your business online uh, it will be, it will be uh, published uh, via the Instagram and also the social medias. Actually, all the different platforms that you can think of, we are basically there. And you'll be able to have access to, uh, to the, um, this book, uh, e-book. Um, yeah, and uh, for those who are interested, you can download it. It's going to be for free. Uh, it's right there. Yeah, so get your hands on the e-book. That's it for Digital Chats. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.